Jason's committee. Gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank uh, Congressman Black for her leadership uh, on this very common sense issue. So common sense, the time where it seems like Democrats and Republicans and the President in Washington rarely agree on anything. We all agree on this, on closing this loophole in the President's health care plan that really should have never been there in the first place. We got good news last week when the President rescinded another big flaw uh, in the President's health care plan when he gave up on the Class Act. It was a plan for, uh, for nursing home uh, care and, and later care for elderly that was financed in a way that even Senate Democrats labeled it a Ponzi scheme. Thankfully, that's been repealed. Today we're here to repeal another loophole and a really nonsensical part of the President's health care plan that would allow couples who make more than the national average in income, $64,000 a year, today under the law, they can qualify for Medicaid. That's a program for the very poor in America. That's a program we don't have enough money for as it is. In a time when 25 million people are either out of work, can't find a full-time job, shouldn't our hard-earned tax dollars go to those who can't afford anything rather than those who are blessed with $5,000 or more a month to make ends meet. Uh, at a time, again, it seems to me that a couple making four times the federal poverty level shouldn't be able to draw down the dollars that you and I pay to help those who are truly needy in America, who, by the way, is growing uh, by the day. Uh, and I will say my good friend from New York is very passionate about this issue, and I appreciate his passion, but this isn't about young kids paying off college student loans. Uh, this is not about... Uh, uh, um, uh, couples uh, struggling to make ends meet. This is about making sure couples making as much as $64,000 a year don't use the money that we reserve for our poorest in America. Uh, not at this time. I appreciate it. And I appreciate Mr. Crowley's uh, effort on this. This is not about taxing millionaires and billionaires. And in fact, let me yield. I'm sorry. Let me yield for just a moment if I, you could. I appreciate and in, 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 in the friendship and uh where the gentleman is a fair member of the other side of the aisle. We, we work very well together on a number of issues. Uh, you make out the point about $64,000 a year as being, I won't say wealthy, but you're suggesting, oh, no. suggesting yes. that maybe on $64,000 a year that people are living a little bit on the high life. Mr. Colley, actually, if I, could I, just I was making the terms, point that the in terms very of my poor district, need our resources. In, will the gentleman help. continue to yield? Yeah, if I tell you what, maybe we can continue this conversation off the floor. I, I was know su suggesting in my strongly. district in Queens, New York, or in the Bronx, $64,000 doesn't get you very far. It just doesn't. Well, those who are making $20,000 a year, it we're goes not, even less far. We're, we're, and, and, and it and seems Mr. to me, Speaker, I know, those, and those people are under my time. the law, Mr. I, I know, we've had great discussions about this. But, again, Medicaid should for those or should be for those who are very poor. This loophole is being closed and you know, thankfully the President agrees with us. The Senate Democrats and Republicans join with us to close this loophole. That has to tell you that this is a loophole that Republicans and Democrats, the White House all agree, needs to be closed. And again, I thank uh, Congresswoman Black for her leadership on this common sense issue and I urge support. Gentleman from Michigan. Is the uh, majority ready to close? We are ready to close. Okay, I'm, I'm going to yield to, to the gentleman from New York, and then I'll close, and then you'll close. Gentleman from New York is recognized. I, I thank uh, the gentleman from Michigan once again.